Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Christina and this is Blooming with KK. Today I'm going to teach you how to effectively create vision boards. So when I first got into designing vision boards, it was unrealistic, literally just a waste of a board, but we're all growing here. We are all blooming. My first vision board, I put pictures of wedding dresses, expensive cars, Tiffany and Co. 2017, I just knew I was gonna get married, y'all. I was gonna start a family, and none of it happened. <laughs> Two years later, my 2019 board it was so much more intentional. In the year of 2018, I created this selfish journey. And a lot of times you hear people say that they're on a selfish journey, people think it's a one year thing. Well, this is year three, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm still on my selfish journey, and I am happy to be here because we have evolved. So the difference between what I did in my 2017 board and my 2019 board is that instead of putting things of what I wanted, I put more words of who I wanted to be. I put more quotes of little things I needed to remind myself of on a daily basis. Stuff like you're stronger than your mind or helping people chase their passions, use their gifts and you know, reaching the, the top of their potential. That was the things that I put on my 2019 board. So when a lot of people do vision boards, you can either do it every year. I did one 2017, 2018, 2019. I did not do a vision board for 2020. And that's because my board that I made in 2019, I see it more as a five year board or a 10 year board. Instead of creating a board for every year, I created the image of or the vision of who I want Christina to be. I didn't need to recreate myself every year. I just needed something to look at to be like, hey, this is the journey that you're on. And you know, remind myself that I'm stronger than my mind. These are the places I wanna go. This is what I wanna do and let's do it. So in the first vlog I recorded for this year, I told people to write down their goals, write down their ultimate life goals and then the little goals for this year. So I want us to focus on those ultimate life goals, like what do you want to achieve in your lifetime? That's what I think you should create your vision board on. Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? What is your life's mission? What is your mission statement? What is your mantra? What do you live by? What do you go by? That's the things that I think should be on your board. That's the things that I put on my board. You know, I think a lot of this journey is sometimes going through hard times just to figure out who we're supposed to be. Like usually tough times tend to strengthen us and reveal sides of us that we didn't even know we had inside ourselves. A lot of the journey is, you know, God taking us through tests and trials and tribulations just so we can be molded into this image of him and the, the strong person that we're gonna need to be for our future selves. Because it doesn't get easier, we just get stronger. So a lot of times I put words on my vision board that reminds me that no matter what I'm going through, I'm equipped for my journey ahead of me. Another quote that I put on here that I seen in a magazine was, my biggest hope, a little black girl sees herself on screen and then doesn't feel as if she has to make herself smaller in the world. One of my biggest goals is to have my own TV show. Um, I don't know anyone from my island that has their own TV show, but I want someone from my island to look at me on television and think that they can do it too. Whatever your goal is, whatever that vision is in your head, Create a vision board, you know, align your dreams, your goals with your board. Don't just put materialistic things, you know, don't just make one just because it's fun. Be intentional with it. Put it somewhere where you can see it every day. So you literally visit your dreams, your vision every single day. Create a vision board, it's not too late. I know it's March of 2020, but you can still get the ball rolling and like I said, you don't have to create one every year. You can do one, a five year goal, a 10 year goal, a life goal, but just 
Make sure you knock out those goals one by one. You can have your cake and eat it too. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to subscribe. Let me know what you liked about this video. If you want to see more on how to achieve your goals, comment below. And remember, wherever life plants you, bloom with grace.